I hope you like that as much as I do. And I wonder why corporate communication has kept me from doing this for 20 years. But I, I can only warn our guys I will do this again. So this car will re really symbolizes our success in the United States for the last 40 years. Actually, the week when BMW North America was founded, this car won the 12 hours of Sebring. And I'm very happy and proud to say that tonight, one of the drivers that won the race that night is Brian Redman, and he is here tonight. Brian, where are you? Well, we, we thought that uh, to put BMW on the map, we should put big decals on our racing cars, saying Bavarian Motor Works, because rumor had it that B stood for British, and we didn't want that to happen. And then we thought establishing the ultimate driving machine in the United States only meant we needed to go racing, and some clever predecessor of mine had convinced uh, the board at the time that the only way to establish BMW in the United States as the ultimate driving machine uh, was to go racing. And we still are racing to this day, and uh, I'm also very happy that the head of our racing activities, Bobby Rahal, is here tonight as well. Bobby, welcome. Yay. Actually, uh, we meant to win uh, the 12 Hours of Sebring uh, 40 years later. Actually, the whole team that was there in 75 was there again, and it wasn't a, for the lack of trying and the lack of motivation on my side to the team, but it just wasn't meant to be. But uh, a couple weeks later, we came in 1 2 at Laguna Seca this year. Uh, which we hadn't accomplished in 75, so here you go. Some you lose, some you win. But uh, who should uh, talk about this all together is Bill Oberlin, who's been racing for us for almost 20 years. Bill, where are you? There he is. going fantastic and how does it feel to drive a car that uh, is so to say the little brother of that car and uh, also went to Sebring this year but tell me what happened one of the best experiences of my life we went to Sebring and BMW brought all of the original members of the CSL that won in 1975 all the crew the drivers Brian Redman Hans Stuck and uh, it was a great experience. They even signed the rear wing of the Z4. We didn't quite get the victory there. I know. We, we then won in Long Beach and we won in Laguna Seca. So how's the season going and how, what's the expectation for the rest of the season? Season's going fantastic. We are battling with Corvette back and forth. We're in the championship lead. We're a point out. It's back and forth. Uh, we're going to um, Petit Le Mans. It's going to come down to the wire of the last race. Well, good luck with that. I'll be there and I'll keep my fingers crossed. Thank you very much. Oh, all right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, two months ago at the Villa Desta, we paid tribute to our victory at uh, Sebring and introduced a uh, <coughs> first car that paid homage to or homage to uh, uh, our race in uh, Sebring in '75. We called it the CSL homage. But BMW wouldn't be BMW if we would have stood still. Now we're coming up with the Homage R, the BMW CSL Homage R. And nobody could talk better and more competently about this as the head of design of BMW, Mr. Karim Habib. Karim, the floor is yours. Thank you. Yeah, this is the 3.0 CSL Homage R. And R stands for racing. And the car the way you see it today is actually the way we intended the car to be from the first time you see it. We presented it in Villa Desta. It does sound almost as good as the two cars that you heard before. And this, the way you see it actually, the first sketches that we had had exactly the stripes that you, had, that you see here, had the numbers, the 25 was there on the original sketch that we decided to build. 
And of course, now as well, you understand and you see why, for example, we had the wide track connected to the wing the way it is this way. And we showed it in Villa d'Este in the more street-like version, but here the racing version is exactly the way it was meant to be from the start. There's a few other things that we did that are different from the car we showed a few months ago. A few little details, for example, the kidneys now are fully open, showing basically the racing qualities of it, the need for air. You have a new spoiler uh, lip in the front. Uh, we also have a new diffuser in the rear. The other thing that's really important about this car is that we change the interior. We have a new, we have new seats. We have new seats that are actually connected to the frame. So the whole carbon fiber story that we're trying to tell here is now more complete than when you saw it in Villa d'Este. What is also important is that we're keeping this idea of reduced information here with a bit more information that you would need on a racetrack. If you look at the car, if when you go inside, you'll see that there's actually the wood panel that's in front of you. We're using as well here as a display where you can see the track, Laguna Seca in this case, is also illuminated through the wood. And what's very important, as you can see here, Wolfgang wearing this very elegantly. We worked <laughs> with, with Puma actually, with Puma Motorsport. Uh, they designed this suit for us where they also tried some uh, important technologies to them. For example, you see this belt, uh, basically the central era is a 3D woven belt, so it, it's lighter because it's actually less material and it's ergonomically better when you're sitting. We, they also designed uh, the lightest shoes they've ever designed. There's actually carbon fiber in the shoes. And also important, because we're talking about, for us, the future of racing, is the connection between the car and the driver and the information. You can see here an LED stripe that basically when you connect, when you hold the steering wheel, will then show that there's a uh, flow of information from the car to the, the helmet and the visor in the helmet is meant to have a type of head-up display inside as well. That's the design <laughs> of the CSL Homage R. I think it speaks for itself. But the important thing for us is we're paying here homage to obviously a fantastic car uh, that won 40 years ago, but we're mostly paying homage to the racing heritage of this great brand that is BMW. And you can see today that racing is just as important today as it was in the past. Thank you. <laughs>